The following video contains material owned and created by Rooster Teeth. Before watching this video, please support Rooster Teeth by watching the original video on their website. Link is in the description below. Thanks guys. G'day my fanatics, my name is Larissa and today I am reacting to chapter 9 of Ruby Volume 4 titled Two Steps Forward and Two Steps Back. So make sure you check out the original video on Rooster Teeth's channel or website and we'll pop a link in the description below. And chapter 9, like this was the turning point in Volume 3, like I said like chapter 6 was but uh, chapter 9 in Volume 3 was where everything really went down the shithole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit of technology. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm expecting this episode to be full of a lot of drama and action and things are going to happen. So, especially since after last week's episode where we learned a lot of information, we saw a few things happen, but it was really a heavy dialogue episode. So, yeah, let's get into chapter 9. And it looks like this one's going to be about Yang because, well, even when I heard the title, I thought, I wonder if this is Yang learning to fight with a robotic arm and when I saw the thumbnail has Yang and Tyna I'm like yeah so it is that I say we'll also see Blake again running off to the after that spy um, and I don't think we'll see him Team Ranger since we've seen them like consecutively in the last three episodes so probably not but I really hope we find out what happens with Crow <laughs> anyway so let's get the, this video started okie dokie Okay, so starting the video in three, two, one, and go. So yes, last week's episode, if you missed my reaction to that, popping up in the card section above. It wasn't a very good reactable episode as such. Like not a lot of things happened for me to react to, but uh I, like, it was still a really good episode, and I did bring up that like the tale of the two brothers, the, the God of Darkness, God of Light. Um, Piro actually said the tale of the two brothers in volume three when everyone Osman asked what's your favorite fairy tale she said the tale of the two brothers the girl in the tower and then Osman told her about the maidens the story of the seasons so yeah we actually got to see that so that was good and I actually realized that in my reaction <laughs> which was good too and why is my oh my video is buffering oh, I'll let it go for several minutes hang on guys sorry I'll have to let this I'll be back in just a minute Okay, continuing on. <laughs> I really won't stop buffering. Like, I've got it as I always have, and I haven't had any buffering issues in chapter 3. Anyway, I, I wonder if the girl with the tower is Salem. I don't know. I'm sure there is a fairy tale since it was brought up, and now we know about the tale of the two brothers, so. And of course, Blake and Son in Menagerie. Blake was about to tell her dad about Adam, or at least I think so. And Son <laughs> interrupted him, that spy. And then we saw at the end, of course, Crow with. Well, it looked like poison, so yeah, it was a very intense episode. So, let's see what happens in chapter 9. Excited. I'm excited to see Yang as well and Ty. And hopefully, I won't buffer any. Oh, no, it's buffering. Okay, let's go. Ooh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes! Go, Yang, go! At least we get to see Ty. Oh, this, this is why. Oh, look at him in the, the animation, he looks awesome. <laughs> Oh, that was a good one. Well done, Yang. Oof. That thing packs a punch. Yeah, well, it is metal. I get it. You want to make sure I can still fight? <laughs> I think I'm doing just fine. <laughs> Close. Close, yeah. Oh, really? What about Ember Celica? Still off balance. What? Yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> Honestly, I am kind of surprised. Mm hmm. That's good. Great job with this thing. Oh! Oh, that was a bit cold. Punch it to the face. I wasn't talking about your actual balance. <laughs> uh, mental balance? Although, Guys, why? Why? Sorry. Hello, Sly. <laughs> I saw your tournament place. Hmm. Oh, you watched the list? Well, I guess you would. I was sloppy. <laughs> no, no. No. You were predictable. Ah, oh, predictable, and right? Yes. Mm. And 
Maybe a little boneheaded. <laughs> Do you realize that you used your semblance to win every fight after the qualifiers? <laughs> so what? I guess so. I'm using my semblance any different than someone else using theirs. Mm -hmm. Because not everyone else's is basically a temper tantrum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> True. Serious. <laughs> Once you take damage, you can dish it back twice as hard, but that doesn't make you invincible. No, no it's not invincible. Blind, but what happens if you miss? What yeah. happens if they're stronger? What then? Mm. Now you're just weak and tired. Mm. So ties are out, and it's interesting too. Mm. Didn't pull, obviously, yeah. Yes. Definitely have your mom's stuff with us. <laughs> you want a mom here? It's interesting. So now we could talk about her. <laughs> well, as I have been informed, you're an adult now. <laughs> yep. Well, sorry I remind you of her. Mm. Don't be. Oh. Raven was great in so many ways. Her strength, her ambition. Dedication to whatever cause she thought was worth fighting for. Mm. I can see that. How much of her I see. Mm. But I'm glad I didn't see all of her. Mm. Why? Now we're gonna find out a bit more about Raven. Your mother was a complicated woman. She is complicated. Like yes. everybody, she had her faults, but those faults are what tore our team apart. Oh. And we did a real wonder on her family. On her family? We both act like the easiest way to tackle an obstacle is through it. Mm. The strength is the most important in the fight. <laughs> but if you just take a second look, then maybe you see there's a way around as well. Hmm. an open oh. mind. Look at all the possibilities. One more before. <laughs> ah, here we go. Here we go. Open mind, yay. Look at all the possibilities. That's it. God, Ty's a good fighter, too. He's awesome. I wonder if he has a weapon or it's just his piss. <gasps> oh, here we go. And she's smart. Yes! <laughs> that was good. <laughs> She's put the trivium up. That's awesome. Oh, Vice! I didn't think we'd see Vice this episode. Oh, she's got to practice summoning. Yes, please. You can do it. You can do it. <gasps> yes. Yes. Look at that. <gasps> Is that the knight? Oh, it's just a sword. Oh, it's Whitley. Damn it, Wheatley. Bugger off. <laughs> no. Leave. Mm. How hurtful. Mm. Here I am about to offer you a favor. A favor? Father's taking me into town to introduce me to some of his business partners. I thought mm. I'd see if you wanted me to pick you up anything since you're, well, stuck here. <laughs> yeah. Are you jealous? Is that it? Whatever jealous? You Maybe you can't Is summon. Is that why you hate me? Are you jealous of my abilities? Of Winters? Oh. Hmm. No, not no. really. Honestly, I find it barbaric. Barbaric? Beneath people like me, like Father. Beneath? What could a single huntsman possibly do that an army could not? Oh, okay. We have one. Even mm. if he is run by a fool. <laughs> he doesn't like Iron Lord. Lead. Mm. Fine. Go away, Billy. <laughs> I've got better things. Mm hmm. Enjoy your training, however pointless it is. What is your plan anyway? What do you hope to accomplish while trapped in your own bedroom? 
<laughs> Love it. Oh, I wish I could have done that to my brother when he was annoying me. <laughs> okay, you can do it, wise. Ignore him. You can do this. So don't get emotional. There's the knight, yes. I mean, you can do it. <gasps> I think she's got it this time. Focus. Oh, moving the books. Come on. Oh, I'm pulling the windows out. <gasps> Did she do it? Are you all right? Oh, she did it. Oh, she did it. Show us, show us, show us, show us, show us. Please. Yes! Yeah. She did it. Oh, yay! I'm so happy. Klein, I need a favor. Yes. <laughs> he looks too There you go. Oh, the spy! I don't think she has Gamble's Shroud, though. What's she gonna do when she catches up to him? People think it's a chameleon fawn is too. Because of the ponytail and the horns. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Come on! Thing is, she may lead us somewhere where we don't want Blake to go. Oh, that sounds like a female's voice. So maybe it is Sister Lilia. Oh. She has a gun, sword, whip thing. That's cool. Why are you watching me? Hmm. Give it up. It's not above hitting a girl, you know. Well, watch out, son. And she's got a scroll. That was Sun Scroll, I take it. Grab the scroll! Oh. Seems someone thinks it's important. Get oh, she's got like spots all over it too. Watch out! Hey, Sun Simmers. Yes, awesome. Good idea. He has to concentrate, though. Quit staring and grab it. Yep. Ah. Uh, you can only do that for so long. Oh, break a part of a mask. Blake, watch out! Oh, it's broken. There we go. Sister Lilia. Ilya. Ilya. Yep. It is her. She doesn't even look like a fool. Ah! Out. Give it to me. No. No. So she's a chameleon fauness. Interesting. You shouldn't have come back. Is Sun okay? Oh god, I hope so. Oh, Sun. Sun. No, 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 Ty? It's getting worse. How much farther? You've got to be close. Where are they? Yeah, they left the map behind, that's right. Close to something. You can send something, Ren? What is it? Where are they? So this Higambana ah. Sign. Mistral. Oh, they crossed it out. But the oh. other village has been crossed out. Oh. Guys, I don't know if all of us can make that climb. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, what about this place? It's crossed out. Kuro, Kuro Yuri, can we get help there? Hmm. Years ago. Ah. Mm. If it takes us around the mountains, it's the best bet we've got. It will take too long. The town would have had yeah. a doctor, right? Well, maybe we could scavenge for medicine. Right. You're not going to find anything. We just have to press on. 
Why? Lynn, why are you acting? We can split up. Huh? Mm -hmm. Lynn and I can cut through the mountains while you and Ruby take Pro around through the village. No, we're supposed to stick together. We keep each other safe. We don't have time for safe. Mm. If we make it to Mistral, we'll bring back help. If we don't, we'll at least have a better view of the land. Up yeah. there, we can see if there's somewhere else we can go. That's true. Mm, they know something. Maybe that's Rin's village that got destroyed? Oh dear, the splitting up. Oh no 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 no! I don't want to split up. Just take care of each other. We always have. No. Oh jeez, I don't know about this. I don't know how I feel about them splitting up. shit that's a big footprint oh my god oh my oh my oh my oh my what an episode we've got to see all four of them too in this one and Ilya yeah her whip sword thing okay she's really cool looking so she looks like she's a chameleon on us she could change the look of herself. And there's Yang with a robotic arm. We got to see his eye too. I was so awesome. This eye! <laughs> Did he always have a bone on his collar? I don't think so. Oh gosh. Okay, okay. Alright. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that episode was awesome and we had a lot more, like it was definitely a lot more reactable this time because there was just so much happening and we saw all four of the girls, which was amazing. Um, so where to start? Um, try and get it all together in my brain. Uh, so we had Yang to begin with training with Ty and um, mentioned how Raven was the one who tore their team apart. Which is interesting because we don't know what happened for them to all go their own way so yeah it was Raven and um, and yeah he was saying to um, how Yang's a lot like her um, but she needs to not they need to look at everything else around her and other possibilities like she did when she was fighting when she was sort of stuck and rather than just try and punch her way through it she used her legs to, um, to knock him over so she needs to look at other things as well she can do without always relying on her semblance so that's yeah so that, yeah so she's slowly getting her way through this which was really good and um and then of course we had wise he wasn't expecting using her summoning and whitley still being a pain in the backside but um yeah and she summoned the knight and it looks like Klein's going to help her even though uh, jacques said that the staff will make sure she uh, doesn't leave i think Klein is willing to help her so let's hope um, yeah, but yeah, she was able to summon the knight. It's so awesome. And, um, and we saw Blake and Sun. Sun, oh, Jesus. What's well, it people were getting injured in this volume? Like, with Crow and now Sun. Oh, and it was right, right in his, his heart too. I don't think that's going to do well. I think we may lose him, which is really sad. And I don't, I like Sun. A lot of people don't like him, but I really like him because I just like his character and he really cares for Blake. And he wants to help, even though he goes around the wrong way of doing it, but he really does. And it's just, yeah. You know, and he's one of the characters from Volume 1. Oh, jeez. Um, and yeah, and Sister Ilya being the chameleon faunus and how she changed her skin and everything. And the scroll, I thought it was Sun Scroll, but maybe it isn't. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so she was really cool and Blake knew her. So yeah, and like the fox faunuses, um, 
I've forgotten their names, um, but they they mentioned Il- sis- Sister Ilya um, will be delighted if Blake returned. So yeah, maybe they were training buddies or something. I'm not sure. And um, and then we had of course Ruby and Ranger and Crows getting worse and they're split. And maybe that was Ren's village that had the cross. I had the big symbol on the ground, which we saw as Ruby and John walked past. So that was the same symbol footprint that uh, was at um, what was it? Um, Xion at Xion. So that Ren and Nora seemed to recognise, and Ren was really hesitant going towards that village. So I'm wondering if that's where. Um, Maybe his parents died, or maybe it was his village. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so God, maybe we're going to find out what this one and Grim is. It's not good, especially not with Crow in condition he is. I'm not sure how Ruby and John will stand up to them. And yeah, um, and Ren and Nora going on their own. Um, but definitely see the chemistry between Ren and Nora too, which is really good. I'm a big Ren and Nora shipper. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Oh gosh. Um, anyway, I've been chatting for a while now. Um, I, I either will or I have already done my Ruby uh, Thoughts on Ruby Volume 4 so far video for chapters 7, 8 and 9. So I'll pop a link in the card section above if I remember to go back and do this. Um, for that, so go check that out because I'll, um, once I've stewed over this a bit more and all the three chapters, I'm going to be going more in depth into my thoughts of each bit and my theories and what I think is going to happen next and my favorite bits as well. So, um, yes, make sure you check that out and check out my previous ones as well. They're all in my playlist as well, um, which I'm sure I've already put in the card section above. So, um, I hope you like this reaction. Comment below what you thought could the video like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in chapter 10, I suppose. Okay, bye. <laughs> Fairy tale. Fairy brothers. 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 Oh, why is this a lot of pure stuff?